Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we have another What's on the Shelf, and this is the next to the last episode. There'll be one episode coming up after this on the 31st, uh, which will be the finale, which will be a, another room tour slash overview type thing. But let's get into it. First off, we have here is the Heroescape um, Master Set, Rise of the Valkyr. And if you don't know what Heroescape is, it's a tactical um, fighting game with different creatures, monsters, people throughout history. I mean, you could have, like, um, Spartacus fighting a dragon or <laughs> um, modern military soldiers fighting against swamp monsters <laughs> and all kinds of different stuff. But there's tokens and a lot of pieces. They don't make it anymore. But it's a lot of fun. This is one of the first, um, I guess, modern style uh, board games that I ever got into back when it first came out. But uh, that base set has everything you need to play in it. A bunch of miniatures and dice and markers and 3D terrain where you build it out of hex pieces. We'll see some of those uh, coming up in a minute. But underneath that, we have the um, Takala Jungle set, which adds, uh, it's an expansion for Heroescape that adds bushes and trees and um, uh, other pieces, but yeah, this one adds the palm trees and adds some new um, creatures and spiders. And then underneath, or, or beside that, we have the uh, Next expansion, Road to the Forgotten Forest, it adds new creatures, it adds roads, some mechanics, like pine trees, or cedar trees. I have two of those, one there on the top, and one underneath it, and then two more of the jungle sets, down on the bottom. And then one of the large expansions, uh, Ragnar's Vision, which adds uh, five new large um, characters to the game, some new tiles and stuff. And yeah, that's pretty much that shelf let's jump to the next one okay on this shelf here we have a couple of the other base sets we have the marvel base set which has uh some new terrain new tile pieces and then marvel characters you got like the hulk and dr doom and spider-man and silver surfer iron man all that stuff that you can add into your battles um some of them or probably a little overpowered to play against some of the other characters, but the point values could make up for it, I guess. I usually just play the Marvel set by itself. Underneath that, we have the Master Set number 3, Dungeons & Dragons Battle for Underdark, which is the D&D-themed version of Heroescape. Just adds D&D monsters and characters like Dark Elves and Black Dragon, and I can't remember... Exactly everything that's in there. Some new terrain pieces, little mountains, water, you know, tiles, um, the little uh, objective tiles you fight for and whatnot. And underneath that, we have the Heroescape uh, expansion set, Fortress of the Arch Kyrie, which adds uh, like a castle to the game. You can build it, it has a bunch of modular pieces and ladders and all of that kind of stuff, but it makes it a lot of fun adding those castles in. Uh, let's jump to the next shelf. Okay, and on this shelf on the left here, we have the pieces from my other uh, fortress sets. Just don't have the boxes for. And the trees from the road set, the same thing, just don't have the box for it. Disappeared in the move. Um, that wall piece there in the front goes to the Marvel set. Just stuck it on the shelf for fun, I guess. And then on the left side there is some of the uh, little wall terrain pieces that you uh, put out on the board just to add some 3D terrain. And then to the next of that's the little mountain peak things that go to the um, Dungeons & Dragons set. But a lot of cool miniatures and terrain pieces in this game. Let's hop onto the next shelf. Okay, on this shelf we have a lot of the bigger miniatures from the game. You can see they come all pre-painted and everything. Um, we have some starting from the left, some robots from the base game, 
um, in the back there, some orcs riding dinosaurs. Um, we have like that green dragon and troll come from another large expansion set. And I believe that bony looking dragon uh, is from that same set. I don't remember what it's called. Just don't have the box for it anymore. Uh, lost several of my boxes in when I moved, I guess. Um, that big, big thing back there is the Morrow Hive that looks like a claw or whatever. Um, the Morrow are like these swamp creatures that uh, they can come back through the hive and multiply and stuff. It's a lot of fun playing Morrow in this game. Um, there's one of their larger guys there in front of the hive. That big skeleton looking guy with a smaller guy with a spear riding on his back and various other robots and some other orcs riding dinosaurs and large dragons as well as the uh, Duntef guard I believe it's what it's called from the road set and the black dragon from the Dungeons and Dragons set. Okay on this shelf we have a lot of the terrain pieces. I have quite a few on the left side are the five hex um, terrain pieces and then after that we have some of the threes and then the twos and the ones and then the large 24 i believe hex there on the right side you can see the different colors that represent different styles and the grass and regular stone and sand are all the same edge but there's also some like concrete and swamp and asphalt from the different sets um and you can see in the the two hex tiles. Um, there's also snow. I missed out on getting the ice and lava sets, but I do have some of the snow tiles. But yeah, I wish I would have grabbed those and the, the flag bearers when I could have. But let's get to the next shelf. Okay, on this shelf we have a old like Plano tackle box that uh, has a lot of the miniatures in it and the objective tiles and scoring markers and dice and various pieces. We'll take a closer look inside of that here in a minute. But next to that we have those plastic bags that have the rest of that castle set in it. The doors and the ladders and the um, battlements and all of that kind of stuff. And on top of the box are just some markers from the game, the damage wound markers. But yeah, the brown pieces there, if you can tell which or which are the ladders and so on and so forth. But let's hop on to the next thing. Now we're inside of the box here. We have all the um, markers to mark your um, initiative for your characters in secret. The water tiles, the um, objectives on the board, those gold and red hex tiles are the board objectives. Those four chambers on the left are the different initiative markers and then the other hexes are water and then we have all the various dice from the different base sets as well as the small d20s that come with them uh, the red markers are those wound markers and several other figures and all the cards in there and various other tokens um, and some of the swamp tiles swamp water tiles the yeah, others Kyrie and arch Kyrie and yeah and there is a second layer to this box with even more miniatures. Let's check that out. Okay, now we're in the second layer of the box. Uh, try to make this as quick as possible. I know the video is already going on fairly long. But well, starting at the top left, we'll work in a serpentine pattern down left to right, right to left, back and forth. But first off, we have some Morrow and then some spirits and Morrow animals, dogs. Um, then some melee Morrow guys, some dual gunner Morrow guys, and then some rifleman Morrow. Under that we have the swamp water tiles, followed by some like modern style military men. Um, next to that we have some robots that work in pairs. And after that we have the heroes from the Marvel set, like Captain America, um, Iron Man, Spider-Man. Under that we have the villains like Red Skull, uh, Swamp Thing, we have uh, Venom. And to the right of there, we have a big section of Vikings. Um, they come forward to the set, I believe. And after that, we have some like Men in Black style, uh, like FBI agent type people. And some other secret agent guys with swords and guns. After that, we have some Kyrie Warriors. And underneath that, we have one of the expansion character sets. 
with like a legionnaire guy and like a mage and a wizard, um, an Indian warrior. I can't remember what all exactly they are. Next to that, we have some dwarves, followed by some more military guys, as well as the Spartan warriors like Spartacus and those guys. And after that, we have some robotic rats, as well as elven archers. And then after that, we have some goblin swordsmen, or orc swordsmen, I'm sorry. I can't remember if they're goblins or orcs. Um, I believe they're orcs. And then under that, we have some more orcs. Uh, there's archers and swordsmen. And there's also some bigger guys in there from the Dungeons and Dragons, some of the expansions for me, at, like a giant hound thing and some dark elves in there. And then after that, we have some serpent warriors. I think they're the Armok Vipers, if I believe, or I believe I'm correct on that one. Um, followed by some ninja and samurai in the next one, and then more samurai of a different type in the next one. And then some white and blue, uh, I think they're the Bastion Guards, I can't remember, uh, but robot fighters. And that's it for this case, and I guess that's it for this video. Um, this has been my HeroScape What's on the Shelf. I know there's multiple shelves in this one, but I figured I'd do all the HeroScape stuff in one video. And if you liked what you've seen, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And ring the bell to keep up to date with my latest videos. And as always, have a great day.